Yellowstone. The name alone evokes emotion and wonder. A gem of the natural world. The ultimate American family vacation. A super volcano patiently preparing its next act. But what is it that makes Yellowstone, Yellowstone? From the time of the Hayden Geological Survey in 1871, scientists have tried to understand why there is a high plateau with dramatic hydrothermal features cutting through the middle of the Rocky Mountains. As a boy, Ken Pierce followed his geologist father across the northwestern Wyoming landscape, watching him make some of the first geologic maps of the area. William Gamewell Pierce was a career USGS geologist who explored northwestern Wyoming for coal, oil, and strategic minerals during World War II. Ken was his dad's field assistant on many long, hot summer days. Later, having completed his PhD from Yale, he was hired by the United States Geological Survey and was soon assigned to map glacial deposits in Yellowstone National Park. Thus began a career-long scientific investigation into the geologic processes that shaped the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. Over five decades, Pierce investigated Yellowstone's geology from the infernal depths of the core mantle boundary to the frigid ice cap topping Mount Washburn during the last ice age. He studied the pervasive interaction of the subsurface mantle plume with the overlying landscape and climate. He hypothesized heavy breathing of the Yellowstone caldera and how it affected Native Americans living there 12,000 years ago. And he was instrumental in theorizing the track of the Yellowstone hotspot as a stationary mantle plume overridden by the North American tectonic plate and forming the Eastern Snake River Plain. These are stories of one man's lifelong journey to unravel the geologic mysteries of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. lake and staying at the lower blacktail cabin and everything is okay.